The work that is presented in this video abstract was performed by Sang-Hoon Lee, Yvonne Marchioni, Marianne Bazaire, Chaba Varga, and Yvonne Schultes at UC Irvine, and by Nathan Danielson, Matthew Lovett Barron, and Attila Lashanzi at Columbia University. Hi, my name is Ivan Scholtes. In this video, we would like to tell you about our new neuron paper, highlighting the new findings and the key conclusions. The work was done by my laboratory here at UC Irvine in collaboration with Attila Loschens' group at Columbia University. We hope you'll want to join us, so please come in. In our study, we focused on a key question concerning the nature of inhibition in cortical networks. Is inhibition homogeneous, a form of blanket inhibition that exerts its action on postsynaptic pyramidal cells in a uniform manner? Or is it heterogeneous and selective with the potential to regulate specific subnetworks of information processing channels? To put it in simple terms, if we were to zoom in to the dense axonal cloud of an interneuron, would we see that the axons contact postsynaptic cells randomly? Or would they show a preference to some cells versus others? We conducted our study in the CA1 region of the mouse hippocampus, where it is known that pyramidal cells are heterogeneous both in terms of the location of their cell bodies within the cell layer and in terms of their long distance projection targets. And as far as the interneurons are concerned, we focused on parvobumin expressing interneurons, the so called fast spiking basket cells. These basket cells innervate the perisomatic region of pyramidal cells and they are known to be very important in local circuit operations and in the generation of network oscillations such as the theta and gamma rhythms. In the next two segments my colleagues are going to explain to you the findings and the conclusions. So let's go to the lab. Hi, I'm Sang Hun Lee. First, we test the hypothesis that PV basket cells preferentially innovate pyramidal cells on the basis of somatic location of the pyramidal cells. In pair recordings, we found that action potential in PV basket cells evoke larger inhibition in the pyramidal cell compared to superficial ones. These data, together with optogenetic, Structural and in vivo two photon imaging results demonstrate that PV basket cells provide non uniform inhibition to pyramidal cells. Next, we also examined whether PV basket cells received preferential excitatory input from pyramidal cells. Our pair recording revealed that superficial pyramidal cells provide more excited connections to. PV basket cell compared to the pyramidal cells. Taken together, these data show the presence of highly biased microcircuit between these interneurons and pyramidal cells. Hi, I'm Ivan Marchionni. Next, we test the hypothesis where the PV basket cells differentiate between pyramidal cells that are located in the same cell layer but project to different brain areas. We retrograde label deep C1 pyramidal cells from the medial prefrontal cortex or amygdala and found that they form a largely segregated pathway. Pair recordings show that PV basket cells evoke large inhibition in pyramidal cells that project to the amygdala compared to those that project to the medial prefrontal cortex. 
When we test the connection in the opposite direction, we found that the medial prefrontal cortex projecting pyramidal cells form excitatory connection with the PV basket cells with a significantly higher probability. This data, again, demonstrated a bias inhibitory excitatory microcircuit, this time between PV basket cells and differentially projecting deep pyramidal cells. These results suggest that the microcircuit is organized in such a way that when the hippocampus sends information to the medial prefrontal cortex, it preferentially inhibits the output to the amygdala. In general, our results suggest that PV basket cells can preferentially regulate distinct information processing channels from the hippocampus, where increased activity in one channel automatically inhibits the activity in another output channel. Thank you for your attention, and we hope that you enjoyed this video presentation.